It has been said that in Twilight Struggle, you need to know the cards well in order to play well. Well, we're going to take you through every card one by one, and we're going to help you become a master at Twilight Struggle. This is Legendary Tactics. This event is a great Soviet event, but as it turns out, it isn't so bad if it turns up in the U.S. hand. We're going to take an in-depth look as to how both sides can benefit from this card. So how does the event work? It's pretty straightforward. This card is a Soviet starred event, otherwise worth three operations points. If played for the event, the US loses two influence in France and the USSR gains one influence there. It also cancels the effect of NATO for France, which means that it can be vulnerable to coups or realignments. For the Soviets, it's important to realize how important France is to Europe's scoring. France on its own is worth a two victory point swing and if it helps you to get domination, it can be worth as much as six victory points. De Gaulle leads France as your main opportunity to get a foothold there. And even control. It also grants you access to Africa from a different direction. Algeria is an important African battleground country because of its above average stability. If you have the opportunity, take it. Let's take a look at the three scenarios in which this card would be played. First of all, let's take a look at a France that is empty of influence, or at least is not under someone's control. If you can get access to France from either West Germany, Italy, or Algeria, a powerful move is using the three ops of the de Gaulle leads France cards to just take over the country. You don't need to use the event necessarily, and if you can keep it in the deck, it's a good insurance policy against future American play in France. If the Soviets already control France, use this card for ops. Keep it in the deck, and once again use it to protect France if the Americans try something down the road. If the Americans control France, keep in mind that this event is really only worth three ops. This is easily repaired by the US player on the next action round. If you're going to make the most effective play for France, then use this card as your headline and play some ops in action round one to gain control. This costs you the battleground coup in action round one, but depending on the overall board situation, it might be worth giving it up. Funnily enough, this isn't a bad card to draw as the US player. As we did with the USSR, let's look at the three likely scenarios in which this card would be played. The first scenario is that France is empty. This is likely the case in the early war, before you've had a chance to play there, or if you've been a victim of the Suez Crisis event card. If this is a case, play the event first. Since there is no US influence to remove, it simply adds one Soviet influence into France. And then take the three operations points, play them as influence into France, which gives you a three to one advantage. If the Truman Doctrine hasn't come out yet, the USSR risks getting into an ops war that it may well lose very badly. If DEFCON happens to be at five when your action round comes along, you may want to play this for the event and then use the ops provided by the card to realign the Soviet influence out, possibly giving you a realignment roll or two after that. If the USSR already controls France, then you can let the event happen because it doesn't matter. Take the three ops and use them well. And if you already control France, you can use the ops to place the influence in France and then let the event happen. Your influence advantage remains the same at the cost of a dead action round. In fact, there are many people that think that American players should play into France knowing full well that this card is out there. Now you have to be careful about Suez crisis as well. But if you control France and lose two influence, you can win the influence war, especially if you have Truman Doctrine in hand. The only downside for you is that this card gives the Soviet player access to Algeria, which is otherwise very hard for them to get to. 
It's hard to block and it's hard to spare a lot of ops in the early war to start shoring up Africa. If you can afford it, and if the USSR is distracted elsewhere, then take control of Algeria if you can. Another potential downside is if you get this card in hand when you are under Red Scare or Purge. You can't offset the event anymore with the ops. It might not be a bad idea to play it later in the turn if this is the case, preferably in the last action round, hoping that the USSR doesn't have a lot of time and ops to take France, and hope for the best next turn. If the Soviets decide that France is high priority, they might decide to put a pile of influence in there in their first action round of the new turn, and in exchange let you have the first battleground coup in action round one of the next turn. You may also fall victim to a Suez crisis event or socialist government event before you get to play again. If any of that is the case, you might need to simply give up on France and move on to other things, and a first round battleground coup might be a fair trade-off. You can then make your focus on taking control of more European non-battlegrounds in order to deny the Soviet player domination of Europe. De Gaulle is also a potential space race candidate that can kick the can down the road if you'd like. Things may look very different in the mid-war, and his impact might be greatly reduced when he returns, although there's no guarantee of that. So, for the Soviets, the card is best used to get a foothold in France, and potentially control of the country, or as an insurance policy and lingering threat that the American player needs to keep in mind. For the American player, the three ops will be valuable, and it isn't hard to turn the situation to your advantage if you get Charles de Gaulle in hand. If you fall victim to this event card from the Soviet side, it may mean that you have to focus on other priorities than controlling France. This has been our analysis of the de Gaulle Leads France Soviet event card from the early war in the game Twilight Struggle. We hope you got great value from this video and we hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And once again, I'm NATO with Legendary Tactics.